lucky to me. So this year I decided to start a bullet journal because I def I desperately need a way to incorporate all of my planners and my calendars um, into one place. Um, it has been so crazy last year. I didn't fulfill a lot of the goals that I wanted to and it was basically because I had stuff all over the place and it was just a mess. So I've been looking into bullet journaling for the last month and I'm ready to start. So I thought I would share kind of my thought process with you about what it is, first of all, why I'm going to use it, um, the supplies that you can use, and then we'll do a couple of simple layouts together um, and cheap supplies and that kind of thing. So hopefully you'll stick with me until the end, but um, hopefully I'll give this enough justice um, because I'm super excited to start. So I just want to tell you why I'm picking this system. Basically, um, I have a planner that I work in, first of all. Um, so that's the number one thing that I put everything in. I love sticky notes, so I have them all over the place with dates, with ideas. It's craziness, right? So it's just nuts, okay? So I have these floating around all the time. I have tons of sticky notes all the time. I can't find them. Hopefully I put them on my calendar. Um, like this is for January, things that I have planned. So I put like the classes that I'm teaching here, plus like dates and things that are very important in here too, um, just because I like to be able to flip through and kind of see, especially when I'm planning classes in the future. So it's crazy. So this was my last year. So I'll show you like, I have sticky notes all over the place, um, videos about when I need to post, that kind of thing. Um, but I have to look in all three places. I have to look on sticky notes, in my calendar, and in my planner, plus on my computer um, to get things done. So I really need a system that is customizable to me, um, that I can kind of incorporate all of this stuff into one system. So in comes bullet journaling. Um, I saw a video um, from my friend Pam and she was talking about bullet journaling. I really didn't like really pay that much attention to it. Um, but over the past couple of weeks, I've been looking at a lot of videos and I really think that it's kind of the best way to go. It's the new year. It's the third when I'm making this video. Um, so it's time to get started and to come up with a system um, that really will work in my life. So um, what is a bullet journal? It is a customizable and forgiving organizing organization system. It can be your to-do list, a sketchbook, a notebook, a diary, a planner. Basically, it is whatever you want it to be, and it's about having the information in one place. It, one place. Um, there's an interesting way that it's organized that really helps um, to keep you organized, and um, it's basically everything that you need in one book, so in a nutshell. Um, let me see. I just made a couple notes here. So I can track my to day my day to day activities or events. I can do I can write a little bit about my experiences. I can track my long term goals and short term goals. Um, and typically, a planner is just about future things and um, you know doing your daily to do list, um, which is good. But sometimes I want to. I have ideas for videos or I have ideas that I want to try out or um, things that um, kind of don't fit in to things that I need to plan or don't have a date or anything that I need to plan, but I definitely need to incorporate those and to think about those ideas, if that makes sense. So um, this is going to help me do that. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm sure that it will. Okay. So um, now let's kind of get to what you can bullet journal in. Now there's a bunch of fancy bullet journals um, that you can buy and use. Um, these are some that I got from the dollar store because I just want to tell you how, show you how basic it can be. Um, this one is not from the dollar store, but I'll talk about that one later. But these are literally books that I got from the dollar store. This is a little composition book. So in bullet journaling, you can use whatever notebook you want. So you could just use this little guy that has lines on it. Basically, it can be any type of notebooks. This is a notebook that has blank pages. Um, so that would be a great candidate. And I got this at the dollar store too. It has two different kinds of paper. It works really, really well. The paper is nice. I do some sketching and stuff in here. So as you see, I didn't do a very good job. <laughs> but you could use something like that. This I got too at the dollar store. It has a kind of a nice cover that I thought might be cool to use. And um, it has lines in it. So 
you can use so your papers can be blank they can be lined they can be a combination they can be dotted they can even have a grid on them and i encourage you to go to the dollar store or go to kind of cheap supply stores especially if you're doing this on a budget or if you just want to try it out you can even use a spiral notebook or a composition book would work fine too they even have the mini ones <coughs> excuse me guys they even have the mini ones that you can use so you can definitely use that i am going to be using this which is an otter's lock dotted paper journal um, they're five dollars so they're super cheap it comes with really nice paper and um, this is what i'm going to use just because um, i need the dots because i can't draw anything straight to save my life so i'm going to use this i think it's a good price you can get fancier ones which i will link below um, that are more expensive um, but i just wanted kind of a cheap one that i could experiment with and kind of see i might change the journal cover eventually it has an elastic too which is nice and it has lots of pages in it um it's it was kind of hard to find um you probably have to ask your michaels on um, where they keep these but they have them in a ton of different colors so i was super happy to get this so awesome but i am going to do some spreads um in one of these other books too so you can see that it doesn't have to be anything fancy you can just use um you know really cheap notebooks and still kind of get the same effect Okay, so now let's talk about supplies, okay? Now you can buy like fancy highlighters, that kind of thing, which is fine, but I just want to share with you um, some things that I'm going to be using in mine um, that are affordable. So these are all pins, markers, and highlighters from the dollar store. And then this is the little book where I'm going to keep my journaling things in here. I have some highlighters over here. I even found like some little cute self-inking stamps. So I'll probably incorporate those eventually. And another highlighter that I had in my stash. I have tons of highlighters. I use them a lot. So for color coding. So this is great. Um, so let's kind of swatch some of these and see what they're about. And I mean, feel free if you want to buy expensive you know pins and markers you can totally do that i'm also going to be using these um, which come in different colors they're assorted inks and these were like a dollar at the grocery store so they're always on sale all the time i buy them all the time because i do a lot of color coding in my um, planner in general so i'm sure i'll do that for this okay so let's test out some of these pins um my friend from glory express i think that's her name or maybe glory explained um, I will link her channel below. She does a really good pin review on dollar store pins and she loves buying expensive pins So it's really interesting to see that she likes to use these too So um, these are just gel pins that I got but as you could see the color is really rich They work really really well and they'll look great in my bullet journal I'll just do like one more But very pretty ink just store them like this flat do not put them in a container um this is a uh, ultra fine quick drying um it's the ink brand and the it says that the ink won't bleed of course you have to let it dry but um i'll show you it's nice and juicy it has a felt tip too and it's really fine so that's great it's black ink and then um these i got these are called zebra and um they are supposed to have them in other colors too, but they were out of them at my dollar store on my Dollar Tree. But again, nice and juicy. It has um, gel. It's a gel pin. And they have a really nice feeling. They're really nice pins. And then these are like scented um, fruit flavored gel pins. So I'm pretty sure they're similar to the other ones. They come in like three colors. And then highlighters, um, you can use whatever highlighters you have. Um, I know there's fancy ones that people use in their bullet journal that are lots of money, um, but I'm on a budget, so I am going to stick with my dollar store stuff. So they have these. And you kind of have to search a little bit for different colors, but if you're willing to, you know, look around, you can find some. That's supposed to be green. It looks more like blue to me, but okay. <laughs> Maybe it's this type of paper. And then there's yellow. And there's pink. 
like that. Okay, just like that. So those are the things I'm going to be using in my journal that are from the dollar store. Okay, so I'll put them actually in here now. Like that. And of course, we'll pull them out when I start doing um, my layouts and that kind of thing. But we'll just stick them in here. That way I know where everything is. And another thing um, that I've seen people use in their journals that I decided that I want to use in mine is um, pens or, uh, not pens, I'm sorry, markers. Um, so again, you can get fancy, fancy ones, fancy highlighters, that kind of thing. But Crayola has these master tips. You can get these at Walmart for super cheap. They're like, I think, two eighty eight dollars or something crazy. You get 20 colors, and a lot of them are very light and transparent. So... Like, of course, you can use the yellow, you know, and it's not going to obstruct your lighting at all, and it works as a highlighter. There's a really pretty gray in here. There's a light green that I think would work, um, but I'll absolutely use the other colors, you know, in the journal spreads, but just a, an affordable alternative, and these last a really long time. They work really, really well. So we can go here, we can do a gray one, and just kind of test them out. There's a green, green looks awesome. So yeah, look at that. So like DIY highlighters plus markers that you can use. Um, these really don't bleed through, but just test them on your paper. I mean, it's not too bad. There's a little bit of bleeding with the highlighters, but I did those a little heavy. But you can see that none of the ink, it goes, but it doesn't come through. It doesn't bleed through. So that's pretty cool. So that's something else that you can use. Um, of course, you can use washi tapes and that kind of thing. These I got from the dollar store just to show you. Um, like these are washi tape, um, little tape stickers um, that you can use and they come in a bunch of different patterns and get a lot of strips of them. So those might be cool to incorporate in your planner. You can use stickers, you can use stamps. There's just a ton of things that you can use that you can get for cheap for your bullet journal. So I hope that you use those. Um, let's see, what else was I thinking that you can use? Oh, sticky notes. They have tons of sticky notes at the dollar store. That's pretty much where I get all of mine. Um, so you could definitely use something like that. Okay, guys, so now we're going to get to some layouts. First, I'm going to show you, um, first, I'm going to kind of explain what are the essentials that you kind of need in your bullet journal, and then we will um, go through um, how I'm going to set mine up and some layouts that I'm going to make in my bullet Okay, journal. guys, so now we're going to talk about the kind of things um, that you need in your bullet journal that are going to help you stay organized um, for the future or what I'm going to put in mine. Um, there's lots of things that you can add. This is fully customizable. Um, but basically, the essentials are that you need an index, which is like a table of content. Um, and you should really number your pages, too. Um, some of the fancier ones come with um, the pages that are already numbered. But an index is just a way for you to keep super organized. So let's say I make a list for future YouTube videos that I want to do. Um, instead of having to go through that and see where I put it, like kind of what you have to do in a planner, and it can be a mess and you forget about the page and you make another one, um, I can index that and then I can refer back to that, which is awesome. So you'll want to create an index. Um, you can use like the first four or five pages for that. Um, and you can decide um, how long you're going to use um, um, a bullet journal for. You can do for. six months, you could do a year. You kind of don't know, I don't think, though, you know, depending on what you put in it, um, you know, what is going to happen. So um, I'm going to do mine um, with the year in mind, but I might have to go over to another bullet journal. But don't worry about that. Just get started, okay? So you'll do your index, then you're going to do your future log. And again, I'm talking about basic things here. There's more things that you can add to. And basically, a future log um, is going to be where you schedule your events and your things that need to be do get done in the future. Um, so if I find out like two months from now that I need to keep teach a class in March, then I will use my future log and I will schedule that in or something like that. Or maybe I want to do a special video series in October, then I will put that in my future log. So there are usually number, they're usually uh, organized by month. Okay. And then you're going to do a monthly log. Um, and your monthly log is basically, 
you're going to have a calendar, but you can do a bullet style calendar, a bullet journal style calendar, or you can do a traditional calendar. You're going to write down the things that you need to do for that month. It can be your goals. It can be ideas that you want to try out, um, plus events and that kind of thing, your work schedule, that kind of stuff. And then stuff that you forgot to do the previous month, you can push it forward or, um, make it so that you put it in this month to get done basically. And then after that, you're going to do your weekly log, um, which is for the whole week. Um, and you can even do a daily log too. Um, I'm probably going to, um, I'm kind of a little confused on why you would want a weekly and a daily, but I guess some people do that. So they'll do their weekly and I guess, um, kind of plan out their entire week. And then they'll do a daily where they'll do like Monday. This is what I'm going to do. I'm going to probably do incorporate those together just because that makes more sense to me. I might change that, but we'll see. Um, and you can also have um, different things for tracking um, that you want to track over the year. So maybe there's books that you want to read. So you can have a book tracker. You can have like a fitness tracker, a food tracker. Um, you can kind of just make this whatever it needs to be. You can write down your 2018 goals. Um, you know, you could do, you could just do so much. I mean, there's tons of ideas on Instagram and just, you can totally make it your own. I'm going to keep mine simple to start out with. And then, um, I will kind of go through, um, you can even add journaling into this too. So I've seen people, um, where every week they'll write down a different, day basically and they'll write down things that they're grateful for um, or they will write down um, different snippets of the day um, as a way of journaling too so you can make this into your journal if you like to I'm not much of a writer so I probably won't do that but I really think that it's a cool idea um, so there's so much that you can do um, so definitely make this your own think of ideas search all over the place and kind of see um, things that you can do but I'm going to show you kind of what I'm going to do um, so the next part of this this video will be about that. It will be setting up um, my index, um, my monthly log, and my weekly log, or my slash my daily log, and um, I will put together a key that I will show you just to kind of get some ideas, but again, there's lots of ideas for keys. Um, there's lots of different symbols. You just need to use things that make sense to you and make your planning process easier. Okay. And the highlighting and the colors, um, you can incorporate those however you want. I'll give you some ideas, um, that have worked for me, but, um, let's get started. I'm gonna
this time you talk to me Are these dark, twisted rumors true? How could I trust in you? All you do is tell me lies So let's find out the truth Tonight Made of truth for the both of us I, apocalypse could be the end of us I love fire, hate shaking off the dust Baby, what I'm hearing, oh, ain't really good for us Still, yeah, bodies of beauty Love like a beast Tastes like the emperor's imperial feast Hearts growing colder Rumors getting closer Did you really do this? Thought I told ya Play with my heart, I'm playing with your head I'm crazy, that's what the other one said It's the moment of truth and the light's on you Tell me if the dark, twisted thing is true Yes, I figured that so Pack up your clothes Give me my keys back And you can have your phone Your love has turned my heart Into a haunted house Me is for vendetta And I'm taking love out You think you are a monster You don't know a monster Until you see an innocent man Become a monster Nothing you can give Can replace the adrenaline Having his revenge Is ultimate redemption Girl, you've gone too far I can't even stay with you no more Cause it broke my heart You dog, you twisted Tell me when you did this Six months creeping around is what I'm hearing This is the person that we argued about You said it was nothing so I thought we worked it out Look who's the liar, your heart's on fire But not before the stories are told Cause I desire the truth That's all I really asked of you All I really ever cared about was taking care of you Now it's a dance with the wolves It's a vampire feast You unleash the dragon so plan your retreat It's a full moon out so tonight you're gonna witness Return of Jafar, return of the beast I booked the trip to Paris, a summer retreat Will you too because I'm not taking you with me You settle for the good instead of waiting for the greatness Apocalypse is over, your soul's taken Think you are a monster, you don't know a monster Until you see an innocent man become a monster Nothing you can give can replace the adrenaline Having his revenge is ultimate redemption Girl, you've gone too far I can't even stay with you no more Cause you broke my heart, you dark, you twisted Girl, get out my car They can't see you here with me no more Cause you went too far, you Girl, you've gone too far I can't even stay with you no more Cause you broke my heart You dark, you twisted Girl, get out my car They can't see you here with me no more Cause you went too far You dark, you twisted Girl, you dark, girl, you twisted
ocean I see people and places and things so clear Oh, life has brought me here Any, many, money, more Pick a place and there we'll go What this jungle like a pro and learn to laugh Any, many, money, more Try some food that I don't know That's the rhythm of my soul But that's me recording this video because my camera decided not to have audio so I'm gonna do a flip through of the bullet journal hopefully I can remember everything that I said it was perfect but of course that's when your camera messes up so this is my bullet journal again I got it at Michaels um, the paper is a lot thinner than I thought um, so I had to find ways to kind of compensate for that but I'm gonna give you kind of a flip through of everything that I've done so this is my title page for 2018 you'll get to see this um, it was a really fun page to do okay and I'm sorry if it keeps blinking in and out I can't help that because if I do then the audio will be messed up so this is my key so I'll bring it up close so you can see so um, this is what I decided on so I have my bullets here of all the things that all the ways that I'm going to organize my bullets and then uh, completed this is going to be in progress sorry maybe I can bring it in just a little bit more in progress and these are going to be canceled and um, moved forward and then I'm going to use a um, highlighter system um, just because I know that that works really well for me it gives my brain clues like that I need to get things done so I'm going to definitely use that and this is just my key it's very simple but you can get as complicated as you want this is my index um, I left tons and tons of pages I haven't filled it out yet um, this this 
style of journal, this bullet journal from Michaels, it did not come with page numbers. So I just quickly um, went through, I think I went to 35, but I need to go further than that, of course. Um, but I will finish um, numbering the pages and then I'll put everything into my index. So I left lots of pages um, for my index because I know myself and I'm probably going to have lots of stuff going on here. I did do a future log and um, I struggled kind of with what I wanted to do for this page. So in the end, I just used stickers. I used some torn paper, some washi tape, and um, just kind of had fun and had a play with it. I was taking it too seriously, and I was in that moment where it has to be perfect, and it's not going to be perfect, and that's okay because I'm not perfect. So this is my future log. And um, then I came up with this kind of system. So I have a, a calendar... Um, like one of those big calendars that you put on your desk and I just cut out um, the months on it and then I added that and then I added the washi tape and used a marker just kind of straighten it out. I do not know um, how I'm going to organize the dates or tasks on this yet. I did try the standard bullet journal type system where you write the numbers of the days in the month with um, kind of the day of the week that it is. Um, that was a little bit, I don't know if I like that very much. I might have to get on my computer and do some experimentation. I'm going to cover this up. Um, so I will keep you guys posted on how that turns out. That's how that looks. It has the dates and all that stuff. Okay. So I just used a bunch of different washi tapes because I wanted mine to be colorful because I'm colorful. So can be boring, <laughs> but you could absolutely do it in black and white. And then um, these are kind of um, my pages um, that I'm going to track things in or put ideas and kind of that thing. So I made a ton of them. So I'll just show you. This is books because I want to read more books and I have been reading more books, thank goodness. So I'm definitely going to do that. I'm going to just put this on there so we'll focus on that instead of go back and forth. And then this, I have my wish list. And I have my project ideas, so I'm going to use that one. And I use lots and lots and lots and lots of um, extra pages for that. I added another page for that because I have lots of project ideas and things that I want to try. And my wish list will be kind of art supplies that I wish that I could get. That <laughs> Maybe one day I will. And then I have big goals and little goals. Um, so these will be kind of things that um, I will definitely get accomplished in the years. And these will maybe do things like traveling and that kind of thing. Like big goals that I want. Maybe buy a house or something in five years. Kind of big things but I think that you have to write down your goals in order for them to come true so that's what I'm gonna do so that should be cool and then I have my shopping list um, probably for art supplies too but more practical art supplies um, that I need to get maybe for classes and that kind of thing or to test out for classes and then I have my movies and my TV shows because I love to watch movies and TV so I want to keep track of that this year. And then this is my YouTube planner. Um, so I have my channel goals. I have ideas. I don't know what I'm going to do with this column yet, but I will find a use for it. And then I have a planner. So these are all the Thursdays um, in the month of January. Um, I am committing to doing videos every Thursday. That is my goal um, because I have a ton of other things that I'm working on. Um, so I was going to commit to two days a week, but I didn't know if that was going to happen. So probably you'll get two videos a week and they'll be on Tuesdays and Thursdays, but every Thursday for sure you'll get a video in the week. Um, but I just have tons of stuff. I'm making online classes for you guys. So I have my art doll. I need all the videos for that. So I'm getting like, um, printables and all that kind of stuff done to go along with that and I'm working on the birch trees canvas um, too um, as an online class so my classes will be very affordable but I need to kind of take time away from YouTube to get that kind of stuff done so um, this will help me stay organized so I just listed the month and the dates of the, all the Thursdays of those months in here and then I'll just write um, what type of video I'm going to post for that day and I can plan in the future because I tend to like I bulk create so I'll create you know two or three videos maybe in a day a few times a week and then I'll have them all scheduled before and it's just easier and it makes it fun so this is my YouTube planner and I did leave a little bit of room because I will put down ideas and that kind of thing too okay 
And then next we have my website because I'm doing a new website. So I need to get all that sorted and everything like that. So I'll put all my ideas and all that stuff in here. And then I'm going to start a Facebook book group in the next year. So I will give you guys all the details on that. So it should be fun. So I have lots of ideas for that. They're on tons of sticky notes. I'll probably put some of those in here and write some things down and that stuff, that kind of stuff. And then I have a professional Facebook page for my business. So I want to start working more with that. Um, then online classes. So I'm going to fill this out with lots of wonderful ideas of affordable online classes. And then these are for my in-person classes and work shops. I'm going to add um, a lot of classes for next year um, to my teaching schedule. So I'm excited for that. Very cool. And then um, church and Sunday school. Um, I do teach Sunday school at my church and I am very involved in my church. So I need to write things down, um, important information, like when we're going to start Sunday school, when we're going to do like the sacraments and that kind of thing. And this will be a great way to house those. And then shopping, things that I'm going to shop for, maybe that are not art related. So I have that page and it bleeded a little bit. Um, just make sure that you dry your gel pins. The ones from the dollar store kind of bleed through a little bit, but that's fine. I mean, they're a dollar. I don't care. And then I'm going to do some work with my Patreon. Um, I am on Patreon and I've very been very consistent to post um, the three to four videos a month for my patrons and um, to give them their printable. But um, I need to I want to share even more with them, so I want to start posting more pictures of my artwork and work in progress and that kind of thing. Um, that is definitely a goal for this year for me and my business. So um, I am going to have some fun stuff happening on there. I'm going to start doing live shows and that kind of thing. Um, so I want to make sure that I have a couple pages um, for that, for planning videos, for making sure that I stay on track and I'm meeting my goals for that. So I did make a Patreon page too. And then I left all of these pages open because I know that I'm going to fill them up with lots of other ideas and things that I want to try. So I left pages. This is my cover page for January. As I said, this does leak through a little bit. The paper is super thin, the gridded, dotted grid paper. Um, but I'm just going to compensate that by just adding just cardstock and decorating that and gluing it on the pages. So it should work fine. So this is January and I love it. I just did a little scribble and then I worked the board in January. And I am using a lot of my own handwriting, which really scares me, but I think that it's going to be awesome. So um, this is my first monthly spread. Um, so I just put a calendar here. And if you're going to make one of these calendars, you need to put Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and the top. So that's seven squares. And then you just do the dates from there. It just makes it a little easier. I couldn't figure it out. And then I did some counting and I realized that I could totally do it. And then January, I'm going to have a to-do list and an events column. Um, so the events, I will actually put the date, so like on 1-13, or one, yeah, one thirteen, January 13th, I am doing an art drawing class, um, so I can kind of look at my calendar and schedule that and put it in my weekly plan, my weekly spreads, if that makes sense. And then I have goals for this month. I'm going to write a quote for this month, which I haven't done. And then I left this page bank. Um, so if I want to do trackers or anything like that, I can add them in. I don't have any ideas for that right now, but I just wanted to have the option. And same thing with my to-do list. Um, there's some things um, that are not events that need to be done. So like I needed to return my books to the library. So I just put the date of when that needed to be done and I needed to RSVP for an event. So I put down when that needed to be done and I just wrote the date next to it. Okay, and then I can incorporate that in my plan. So I think that that's gonna work really well. I thought about doing like a calendar, which I might do, um, but then I was like, oh my gosh, what if it's not straight and perfect? So I couldn't do that. So this is a really good system. So I will probably use this again, but I'm gonna try out different spreads and things until I find things that I want. So I will definitely share with you guys the monthly um, spreads and the weekly spreads that I do for every month. Um, so this is a really simple one. I just wrote the day and the um, and the date of the day. And then I just use my markers and a ruler and I just drew in different colors, basically. And um, for each day, I will make like a running to-do list. I'm not going to do daily pages. I'm going to do it weekly, um, but I will use it as if it's daily pages. So, you know, the night before on Sunday, 
um, I wrote down the things that I needed to do. And on Sunday, I wrote down the things that I needed to do for Monday and merge things, bring them down, that kind of thing. Um, but I don't see the point just for me for doing daily pages. Um, so I'm just going to do it in a weekly kind of format. So hopefully that makes sense. So I did my check marks and my bullet, my key, I used that. So this one set up, I got a new planner and a new printer and scanner. Um, actually, I'm just going to probably use the scanning part. It was super cheap on Walmart and it has really good reviews, but I desperately need a scanner because mine went out. So um, I need to set that up. Um, so I didn't get that done on Saturday, even though I was planning to. So I'm just going to move it over to the next day. Um, like emailing my students about my classes because I do that when I teach and then I have a notes page and um, next week kind of what I need to remember to add to next week or things that come up this week that I want to accomplish next week like goals and that kind of thing and then this is my week which you guys got to see me do um, so this is how it looks it was very very simple to do um, yeah so we're on I think we're on Tuesday today yeah, today's Tuesday, crazy girl. <laughs> so I did write down some things um, that are happening, you know, throughout the week. Um, but I will go in every day or the night before and write things down that I need to get accomplished specifically. And then I have next week, I have my word of the month, which is be fearless. So I'm going to have a fun video for you guys to watch, hopefully on Thursday of that. Um, and then um, to do so things that I need to get done this week and notes, just important things for me to know. And I think that that's it. <laughs> so I'm super excited. I'm sorry this was such a long video, um, but I really wanted to share this journey with you. And I feel so much more productive with this. It's really helping me in the last couple of weeks. So I hope that you give it a try and please don't go out and buy a fancy book. You can use a composition book. You can use so many different things that you can get at your dollar store. Um, so don't, and you don't have to make it as complicated as I have. You could just do a running to do list. So you could just have literally just every week, just list the days and then write to do lists on them and move it. And you know, you don't even need a future log. You don't need anything. You can just customize it and make it however you want at a price that you are confident in. I am not going to go out and buy fancy like highlighters and stuff like that. I'm using these Crayola um, super tip markers. Um, they do bleed through, but that's okay. I'll find a way to get around that. Um, so you can definitely do this cheap and easy, and I hope that you give it a try and see if it works for you. Okay, guys, you can do it on blank journals. All you need is a ruler if you're worried about th how things look, and if you're not, then more power to you, and good for you, and I don't really care. I just like kind of, yeah, I'm, I don't care. Like, I made a mistake here. I spelled video wrong. I am horrible at spelling. It's going to be a mess, but I'm going to do it, and I'm going to be persistent in doing it because um, I think that it's really going to help me to be more productive, and that, in the end, is what I want and what I need. <laughs> okay. So that's it guys. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys are doing great and I will have an extra video. I will have a video for you on Thursday. This was kind of like a bonus video. I tried to get it done next week, but last week, but it just didn't happen. I got really sick with a really bad cold. Oh, so I'm still a little bit sore. My throat's sore, which is crazy. So I'm going to take some more medication and try to take it easy. I can already feel that I'm getting a little weak um, today, but I wanted to at least do a few things for you guys this week. Okay, so I'll see you guys later. Have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.